welcome to the channel again another box opening and um, as you might have heard in other box openings I've made a large purchase of games at the weekend at the warehouse at GMT it was uh, really fun if you ever get a chance to join one of those I would recommend it highly this particular game another game that I did not think I would uh, get I started with Solarno Solarno 43 I think it's Solarno 43 um, started with that game, enjoyed that system a lot. Uh, this game designer, Mark Simonich, is very um, active and productive at GMT. And I, I really like his World War II games here. This particular one is Holland 44, Operation Market Garden, September 1944. This game was put out in 2017. Uh, again, like I said, I did not think I would be able to get this game because uh, on eBay and other stuff buying it used is rather expensive. But I was able to get a brand new game at GMT's warehouse, so I'm very happy and appreciative that they have that type of event that allows people like me to get back into war gaming and get some of the games that they missed in the past. Uh, this comes in an inch and a half box. On the back side, it talks about uh, how it's a two player game and Operation Market Garden was um, the Allies' attempt to. Uh, go through Holland and create a roadway through there to travel to get into Germany. Uh, the northern part was uh, besieged by airdrops, airborne. The southern part by um, units coming in and charging in, trying to capture bridges and take, take hold of them. It ended up being kind of an ally failure, but um, you know, in the game you can change that up if you want. There's a 20 turn campaign game and an 11 turn tournament size game uh, I believe it comes with a couple maps but we'll find out down here we have some of the counter units and uh, the counters are always nice in these games I really like them again Mark Simonich is the game designer um, the game the unit size is battalions a two player game one full size uh, map sheet 22 by 34 and then we have one map section which is 17 by 22 Two sheets of counters, two identical player aid cards, one scenario card, uh, one rule booklet, and two six-sided dice. Time is three days per uh, turn, which a.m., p.m., and night. Map size is two kilometers per hex. Uh, complexity is a six, and uh, solitaire suitability is a seven. So let's open up and see what we got here. This is the older game, so it is the thinner box which is okay and here I have my two-sided dice right there a red and a gray which that's nice we have our packing list here telling you how they took time to package this you can be sure that everything's there and to enjoy the game and I appreciate that and I think that looks like Deb maybe is the name there we have an errata right here so it tells you what the errata should be so you definitely want to change that in the rule book or go online and look at the updated rule book because they always have updated living rule books online got some baggies here and we start out with the rules of play so let's move this out of the way here so that we can check out the rules of play here all right so we have an introduction Content, sequence of play, weather, uh, bridge demolition and repair, stacking, zone of control and zone of control bonds or ZOC bonds, movement, combat, combat modifiers, combat result, uh, determined defense, which is always fun, retreats, uh, disruption and recover, advance after combat, breakthrough combat, artillery units and supplies. Then you have reinforcements and entry, uh, entry areas, Night turns and replacements, breakdown and merging units, airborne landing, special rules, traffic markers, unknown units, how to win, always good, operational rules, scenarios, hints for play, extended example of play, I always play uh, the extended example, it's always fun to go through, designer notes, so our basic games, our basic rule for the game stops in 24 pages. And then we have Allied Reinforcement Schedule, German Reinforcement Index, and Expanded Sequence of Play on the back page here. 
So this is a color roll book. It's sort of a, a glossy stock. And we see that we have our units and we have uh, the tank units here, the armored units. And we see that we see silhouettes, which I'm assuming is what they're gonna have on the pieces. We'll find out in a minute. Weather is always an important factor in, in all of these games. And a lot of example of play. So even though we have um, a number of pages of rules, we do break it up with examples of pages, diagrams, which we always like diagrams. And here's a lot of diagrams, as a matter of fact, right here. Combat results, retreats, breakthrough combat, always uh, good to understand that fully. And we have some of our marker explanations, the supply and supply sources. Reinforcement entry. Uh, breakdown units, emerging units. Unknown units, which I imagine is quite a, quite a few. How to win, optional rules, scenarios, the short game and the campaign game. Extended example of play, always wonderful to find out how those play out. And it continues here, airborne drop. German player turn, turn two. So they go to two turns in on the extended play. Designer notes. And an ally reinforcement schedule here. German reinforce, wow, German's got a lot. Index. Expanded sequence of play. The rule books. Two player aid cards. Uh, we have our combat result table here. Explanation of results, combat modifiers, bridge demolition. Uh, determined defense table. On the back, identical. On the back, we have our terrain effects chart, everything in color, which that is nice. Isolation attribution, uh, attrition, I'm sorry, isolation attrition table. Exiting um, zone of control cost. So that's our two, that's our two player cards. We have a setup card for the German units and nothing on the back. So just one setup card for the German units. First of our sheets have some German units. Everything seems to be color coded and ally units here. And on the back, we have a number of two step units. Some are not. And we can see that um, we do have representation of the vehicles with silhouettes. So that's, that's nice to have. Sheet number two has a little more allies, uh, some more German units. We have our game marker units, a lot of bridges. They're going through a lot of river areas there in Holland. Uh, silhouette units here. The backside, um, not so many two-step units there. And the backside of the player aid cards. I guess this is bridge occupation there. Next, we have our full-size map. So we have um, Holland 44 Operation Market Garden. Um, the map comes in from down here, and it looks like we have our Army Corps coming in through here. We have a lot of uh, bridges to go across here and here, and as we get further north, I'm assuming that's north, I should... Yes, so this is going north. And then I will move this map up so you can see the rest of it here. There it is. And it comes up there and you can see that we have a cutoff in here, which I'm assuming your secondary map goes up there. So it makes a good size game. But let's go back down to the bottom here and see what we have here. We have artillery moved, air units, have terrain effects, have our turn record track here, and it has some little notes here as to stuff that comes in and what happens. Weather track, 
and what you get for the weather. Night, airborne replacement track. German remnants displays here, so uh, some units have uh, three steps. Airborne reinforcement. And then sequence of play, which is always nice to have on the map. So that's the full size map. And here's the smaller map. And uh, as you can see, this one attaches to the top of the larger map. So you get a good size uh, battlefield. And we have <clears throat> a lot of rivers to cross in the northern area of Holland. Coming up here, and this looks like it's either exit or entry areas divided up here. Ally remnant display. So we have a lot of three-step units for the ally. Uh, breakdown units here. Eliminated ally units and eliminated German units. So we don't have too big a square, so hopefully that means something. So that's your second uh, second smaller map for Holland 44. Okay, so that was my box opening for Holland 44. Again, a game that I did not think I would get. Um, I'm looking to try and complete <clears throat> this section of games. Mark Sinovich, but I'm not sure that's going to be 100% possible, but we'll see. I made a pretty good dent in it, buying games that are out of uh, stock at the GMT warehouse. This was one of them I was very happy to get, and that was my box opening. So please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That always helps the um, numbers on the video. And... Um, I hope to be showing you some extended example of play on this game because I've always played them through and when I do that, I might as well record it so you guys can follow along if you'd like. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day.